This video will discuss rigidity as the changes in the motor neuron lesion are weakness with changes in the muscle tone, muscle bulk and stretch reflex. And in the muscle tone we have three types of hypertonia, spasticity, rigidity and paratonia. In this video we will discuss rigidity, its causes and what are the structure involved that cause rigidity. Rigidity is increase in muscle tone in extrapyramidal disorders. The extrapyramidal tracts are indirect corticobulbospinal tract that innervates the spinal cord and unlike the pyramidal tract they are indirect. The pyramidal being direct corticospinal tract that innervates directly to the spinal cord. The function of the extrapyramidal Neurons are, bal are balance or posture, proprioception, coordination. The extrapyramidal neurons are basal ganglia, rubrospinal, reticospinal, vestibulospinal, tectospinal, and olivospinal tract. What type of reticulospinal tracts are there? There are two types of reticulospinal tracts the reticular activating tract and reticular inhibitory tract. The reticular activating tract starts from the pons as the medial reticulospinal tract and is excitatory in nature, whereas the reticuloinhibitory tract starts from the medulla as lateral medullary spinal tract and both of them they innervate the spinal cord and the medullary reticulospinal tract inhibits the neurons in the anterior horn cellular spinal cord, the alpha and gamma neurons, whereas pontine reticulospinal tracts, they are excitatory to both alpha and gamma motor neurons. So what are the features of the rigidity? The increased muscle tone is present throughout the range of motion. Rigidity affects more axial and proximal limb muscles compared to the spasticity which affects the distal muscles. Unlike spasticity, rigidity is not velocity dependent. So what does it mean? There is a uniform increase in tone whether the elbow is passively moved quickly or slowly. The rigidity affects flexors and extensors equally and it gives a lead pipe or plastic stiffness and cogwheel rigidity in Parkinson disease. So what's the lead pipe rigidity? Rigidity that is present throughout the movement with a sustained passive resistance to passive movements with no fluctuations. Whereas in cogwheel rigidity which occurs in Parkinson's disease there are jerky resistance to passive movements along with tremors. What's bradykinesia? Muscle rigidity that occurs in extrapyramidal disorder causes slowness of voluntary muscle movement that's known as bradykinesia. Why there is a difference in the increase in muscle tone in pyramidal and extrapyramidal lesions? It's been suggested that the distribution of higher facilitatory influences between flexor and extensor motor neurons may be unequal in pyramidal and approximately equal in extrapyramidal disorders. What are the features of rigidity in catatonic schizophrenia? In catatonic schizophrenia, the muscle remains immovable for hours. In the stuporous state of keratonic schizophrenia, the patient has a rigidity where he maintains a position for up to f hours. The rigidity in rigor mortis. The rigidity in rigor mortis starts about 3 to 4 hours after the death and la lasts for 24 hours. Why does it occur? After death, the calcium ions leaks out of the sarcoplasmic reticulum that allows the myosin head to combine with the actin. But then it cannot detach because the ATP synthesis is ceased. And then until the proteolytic enzymes act to digest the decomposing tissue, it remains there. The third condition of rigidity, Parkinsonism, which is characterized by rigidity and tremors. Clinical features are pills rolling movements between thumb and index, cogwheel rigidity, echinacea, bradykinesia, shuffling gait. So what are the features of the extrapyramidal disorders?
they are acute dystonia, akathasia, and tardive dyskinesia. So what happens in acute dystonia? In acute dystonia, there is spasm of the tongue, neck, face, and back. In akathasia, there is compulsive repetitive movements and agitation. And in tardive dys dyskinesia, there is lip smacking, worm-like tongue movement known as fly catching. What are the drugs that cause rigidity? Antipsychotic drugs, they cause rigidity and also metoclopramide, which is used to regularize the GI movements. So what's the mechanism of extrapyramidal syndrome? Relative dopamine deficiency in the negrostriatal pathway. In Parkinson disease, there is loss of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra. And because of the antipsychotic drug, there is blockage of the D2 dopamine 2 receptors in the negrostriatal pathway. So treatment of extrapyramidal syndrome. Benstropine, amantadine, diphenhydramine and promethazine. The disorders that cause increased rigidity are tetanus, strychnine poisoning, rabies, encephalitis, black widow viper venom, and malignant catatonia and Parkinson's dyskinesia.